I have the new Xiaomi Redmi Note 9S and today I'm going to show you how to boot the entire Redmi Note 9 series and all of its variants both into recovery mode as well as out of recovery mode. Now to do this we need to first power off the device so if you're able to boot into Android just go ahead and press and hold the power button to bring up the power menu and then let's turn off the device. After a few seconds the device is turned off we can then press and hold the power button as well as the volume up buttons and we're going to continue to hold those two buttons down until we get into recovery mode. Now you're going to feel the smartphone vibrate a couple of times that's normal and if you're like me, if you did not let go of the buttons quick enough, you might have seen yourself go into the reboot menu. So if that happened, press the volume down button to highlight the back to main menu option, and then press the power button to get back to that main menu. If you're seeing the Redmi Recovery main menu, that means you are using the stock recovery software which is what should be shipping on your device. However, if you have installed a custom recovery, such as TWRP, when we boot into recovery mode, that will boot you into t the TWRP main menu instead of the Redmi recovery main menu. Unlike Android's stock recovery mode, Xiaomi has limited the options that we have available to us so if you find yourself in this main menu, we have the choice to either reboot, which means reboot and attempt to reboot back into the Android operating system. We can wipe data and perform a factory data reset. Or we can connect the device to Xiaomi's Mi Assistant feature which is a PC program that you will need to then connect the smartphone to the PC with a USB cable. You can see we cannot access this menu, we cannot interact with this menu with touch. We need to use the volume up, volume down, and power buttons to navigate. So we highlight a option and then we press the power button to select that option. So we highlight back to the main menu option press the power button to select it. So from here we can either reboot, perform our factory data reset, or connect to Mi Assistant. So if you find yourself booting into recovery mode like this, to boot out of it and to boot back into Android, we need to select the reboot option, press the power button, and then make sure that the reboot to system option is highlighted and press the power button again. Like I said, that's going to reboot our smartphone and it's going to attempt to boot us back into the Android operating system. If you find out that your smartphone has rebooted back into recovery mode, the first thing I would do is make sure that your case is not pressing down the volume button because pressing the volume up button during the boot cycle can trigger the boot into recovery mode. This is also true if the phone has been dropped and you have some damage that has happened near the volume button, the internal components could be pressing that volume button for you. If you have double checked to make sure that the volume button is not being pressed and you continually see your smartphone booting into recovery mode and you cannot get into Android, then it's probably because your Android operating system has either gone corrupt or has been messed up by some bad mod or something. And you need to do that factory data reset while you are in recovery mode. So there you have it. That is the new Xiaomi Redmi Note 9S. And it's how to boot the Redmi Note 9, the Redmi Note 9S, and all of its other variants both into recovery mode as well as how to boot out of recovery mode.